Hello everyone, uh, here's another fantastic Richard Vollmer trick. It's called Location Placement Prediction. You're going to have two specters come help you. Now let me show the deck. It can be a barrel deck. It's impromptu. And Spectator 1 can shuffle the cards. So we'll say Spectator 1, Spectator 2. And hand you back the cards. Now what I'm going to do is make a prediction. Okay, so I'm going to go through the deck here and take out one card. I'm going to go with this card right here. Place it right over here. Now remember, I made a prediction before the trick even started. Now, if I were to take these cards, take some cards off the top of the deck, and just push them into the center of the pack, like this here, and pull them out, just like that, nobody would know exactly how many cards are in this pack of here. I could take a guess, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't know exactly. So, I'm going to do it again here. I'll start again. I'm going to take some cards off the top, and push them right into the center of the packet. Now, nobody knows how many cards are there. In fact, what I want you to do is you just pull those cards out. So they're going to pull out those cards right here. All right, and what we're going to do here now is you have some cards. I don't know how many, and I'm going to take some cards off here. We don't need all this, all these cards here. Here, we'll get rid of these here. And shuffle your packet. So you shuffle your packet. Spectator 2 will shuffle his packet. And now what I want you to do... Like I said, I don't know how many cards you have. I'm going to turn my back, and I want you to hand some cards to Spectator 2. It's going to be a small amount of cards or a large amount of cards. It's up to you. So let's say he gives them that many. Cover your cards. So you turn back around. Let's go to Spectator 1 and say, why don't you just count your cards. Remember the, how many cards you have. Spectator 2, just leave, leave your cards alone for now. Spectator 1 will count the cards. You put them on your table if you want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Turn back around. Now you have a number in your head. I'm going to show you some cards. Remember the card that falls to your number. So he's going to remember the ninth card. Okay. Now you don't know that. You don't know how many cards he has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now they're going to remember that card right there. Expect every one. Okay. And you got 10, 11. Did you get a card yet? You did? All right. So here. You've got a card in your, in your head. What I'm going to do is go through these cards, take out your card that you're just thinking of right now, and place it to a number corresponding with how many cards Spectator 2 has, even though Spectator 2 hasn't even counted his cards yet. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take out one card. Yep, there it is right there. What I'm going to do with that card is I'm going to place it at a specific position, just like this. Place it in the deck just like that, push it in, and what I just did there is place... Spectator 1's card to, a, to what number corresponds to how many cards Spectator 2 has. You don't even know how many cards you have, do you yet? So Spectator 2 will count the cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's count 6 cards down in my packet. Hopefully you'll find Spectator 1's card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The 6th card was your card, the King of Diamonds. Hope it was. Now not only that, Spectator 1, you have a, a certain amount of cards. Would you count those? So he's going to count his cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to count down in my packet. 9 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The ninth card. No one knew how many cards both of you were going to get. Would it be amazing if my prediction that I placed here before the trick started matched was the mate of this card right here. And hopefully you do. They're both the king of spades and the king of clubs. And that's a Richard Vollmer trick. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thank you.